Hi folks, Greg and McMahon from Silverback Digital here. As many of you will know, we do smart home solutions for people with disabilities and for older Australians. So things like voice control for lights, fans, air conditioning, TVs, blinds, uh, automatic doors, you name it. We can control it with electricity. Essentially, we can add voice control for home automation. Uh, so when we first added out, voice was really all we were using uh, as a means for our clients to control their smart homes. Um, that was because Google um, Home and Amazon Alexa are essentially voice assistants. They rely on giving a voice command and then uh, doing whatever it is that the, the user wants them to do. This was okay um, as long as our clients had a speaking voice and a clear speaking voice that they could use to um, to issue the commands as uh, as it were to the Google or Alexa to open their blinds or turn on their lights or turn off their TV or whatever it happens to be. Not so useful for those uh, clients of ours who had um, no speaking voice. So what we have done uh, in that instance is create a dashboard so that instead of having to um, tell Google to turn on your lights or aircon or lamps or light strips, you can just click on that uh, on a tablet or touch screen. Um, and that's great if the client has the ability to um, use their hands to tap on a touch screen, um, but some of them don't. So that's when we started getting into the possibilities that um, iGaze tablets present. So uh, iGaze tablets essentially calibrate Around the um, around the user's pupils uh, and track where the the eye is moving on the screen, and essentially that becomes the cursor, and uh, blinking becomes essentially um, the mouse. So, for example, in this uh, dashboard here, you can see we've set up so that there are uh, a few different rooms in the house. Um, with the camera. Uh, Dorgo camera outside here that the user can see um, whoever's at the at the door. Um, in many cases, um, uh, you know they'll be able to communicate with whoever's at the door, not so much by speaking, but by pre-recording uh, commands. Um, you know, so we can we can say you know, have the, the the system say hello, who are you? Or no, thank you, not interested. Or please come in, uh, and they can open the front door using. Um, uh, just clicking on each of these tiles. Um, so, for example, in the bedroom, um, they might have, you know, several devices. So there's an ensuite light, which obviously you can see is on. If the uh, client wants to switch that off, um, all they have to do is use their eye gaze to turn that off. Um, similarly, with air conditioning, uh, if they want to turn on the air conditioning, it's simply a matter of turning on the air conditioning and setting it to heat or cool. Um, same with fans and lights and heat lamps in the ensuite, for example. Um, we have uh, also set up um, cameras around uh, this particular home um, so that the uh, user can see whoever is around, uh, if there is anybody around uh, any of their uh, you know, personal spaces, um, they can see them, record them, communicate with them for their own personal security. Um, the other area, which is a big one for a lot of clients, uh, is TVs. So what we've created here is essentially a TV remote for an eye gaze tablet. So the client can choose what they want to watch, whether they want one of the streaming services. Obviously, um, there are dozens of those to choose from. We can add in which, whichever the, the client is subscribed to or uses. Um, but it's also got the traditional, um, remote control, up and down, home buttons, on, off, uh, and the ability to select channels. Um, so they're just a few of the things that we've been able to do um, uh, with different modes of input, I suppose, uh, at, at the basis of it. It's all about home automation, about being able to have the machines, if you like, do uh, what it is that a person with functional limitations might prevent them from doing. But to take back control and independence, they can now use 
um, either voice or touch or just eye gaze to uh, control their homes and their environments. Uh, and we think that's pretty cool. Thanks for listening.